In this lesson, we're gonna see Artisan commands which help us developing Laravel app much easier. Up until this point, we use PSP Artisan serve to serve PSP build server or PSP Artisan route colon list which will give us some feedback about all routing that we have in our application. In this video, we're gonna see other commands that Laravel provides for us. And we'll also see how to properly use the command. So if you type PSP artisan list or simply PSP artisan, here we get back a bunch of artisan commands. You'll see a short description on the right side in its command so that you know what the command is used for. To use an artisan command, we can see the usage here. Command, optional options, then optional arguments. Below that, we can see the options and available commands. So, if you want to know how to use a certain command, you can just say PSP artisan followed by the command. Let's say serve and then add dash h. Here you'll see the description, the usage, and options. Let's see another command PSP artisan make controller dash h. Here in the description, create a new controller class. Here are the usage and so on. So if you want to know a command or maybe you forgot a certain command, you can add dash h option to get help. Now one artisan command they really love is tinker. So here in the description, interact with your application. So let's run this command. PSB artisan tinker. And now we are in a shell where we can interact with PHP and our application. So tinker basically is an interactive language shell. It takes a single user input, evaluates, and returns the result to the user. So, if you type 7 multiply by 5, here I get back 35. If I now type 7 is equal with 7 in quotes, I'll get back true. If I now change with triple equals, I'll get back false. Now I'll try calling PSP function, let's say str len hello world and here it returned 11 now we can also execute any level stops now here we can also run any level stops let's say view welcome here I get back an instance from illuminate view view to get back the actual HTML code I can add render and here we can see the actual HTML code. Let's see other command str kebab hello world. Here I get back the string in kebab case. If I try str snake here I get the string in snake case now to get help when you're in thinker you can just type help and here you'll see a couple of commands along with the description here if you see the doc read the documentation for an object 
class, constant, method, or property. So, if we type doc view, here you'll see the fragment of the function declaration. Maybe it's not helped too much, but at least you know the number of arguments that it receives. Here you can see the description and detail of parameters and the return type. If I now do the same thing to str kebab, sorry, I'll add doc str kebab. Here you can see the class namespace, illuminate, support, str, then fragment of the function declaration, and so on. Now let me show you the show command. If I now show view, here we can completely see the view function declaration. Let me show the str kebab. Okay, in a plane, let's quit from Tinker by typing quit or exit. And now we're back to our terminal prompt. So we can list our certain commands by saying PSP artisan list or simply PSP artisan. And to get help with a certain artisan command, just add the dash edge flag and you'll see more information about the command. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next lesson.